Uh, good morning. Uh, this uh, particular meditation is for those days that we all have where we wrestle with our own personal self-esteem. The days where we, even the face that we look in the mirror and see, isn't smiling back at us. Uh, and I want to call, just let you know, in the midst of all of that, that you've been called to conquer. The Lord dropped this in my spirit and I wrote it on social media about an hour ago. Uh, our lives are presented with so many watershed moments where it would seem that giving up would be so much easier. Well, giving up may be easier, but you've been blessed with this thing called life, and you have an especially exclusive invitation from God himself to make an impact. Will you wilt or will you persevere? God saw his own image in the mirrors of heaven, and with that mold, he created you. He designed dominion into your DNA. As a part of God's own private collection, how can you possibly succumb to circumstances? You're too great to give up. You're too great to give in. You've been called to conquer. Set out to experience winning in every area of your life. Winning is what conquerors do. And just for a few minutes, uh, as a morning boost to you, I want to talk to you about being called to conquer. Call. You've been called to conquer. I looked up that word, went to the lexicographer, and I looked up the word conquer. And in the definitions I got, a person who conquers uh, uh, or vanquishes. And even another definition say a victor. This is the day that I want you to know that you've been called from your victim status and that, that God sent me on a divine mission to try to send through the uh, airways that you've been called to conquer. You, 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 you've, this is the day that will forever sever your ties with low self-esteem. It is, it, it's meant to sever your ties, ties with being uh, mediocrity, with complacency, with being normal, with just sailing through life with no great ambition, with sailing through life without making an impact. You've been called to conquer. Uh, it's so many times we're presented with opportunities to give up, cave in, to quit. We have those days literally uh, and that we want to put our shoes on our head and our hat on our feet. But God created you and brought you to the kingdom for such a time as this. He looked through the annals of time. Uh, you know, before he formed you in the belly, before your mother hollered, before your father hollered at your uh, mama, before your granddad winked at your grandmother and said, uh, uh, let's go to the back room. You were, God knew, and he had seen that you were called to conquer. God declares the end from the beginning. He's not scared at the beginning of your story. God knows how your story is going to finish. You've been called to conquer. Never would God have invested so much in himself if he knew you were not going to uh, be a victor. Never would God created you after his own DNA, after his likeness, uh, uh, you know, fashion after uh, everything that God's called to be. And, you know, some said, well, God is a spirit. Yeah, and our Father seeks, seeketh such to worship him in spirit and truth. I know God is a spirit, but you are a tripartite being. You have a body, you have a soul, and you have a spirit. Look, folks, you are still called to conquer. Sever your ties with just going through life, uh, being blown by every wind, blown by every circumstance, blown by... Uh, Every, def uh, every minor challenge in your life. You've been called to conquer. A conqueror is a person who conquers or overcomes. Uh, a, a person who vanquishes. That means comes and takes over, makes an impact, uh, 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 just puts out the light on the weapons of the enemy. You know, even in scripture, God didn't just call you to be a conqueror. He called you, he said that you are more than a conqueror. The Holy Red says you are more than a conqueror. So God expects you to vanquish. He, he expects you to be the victor. Stop walking around like a sad sack with your head all down. Uh, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, and the king of glory shall come in. There's another passage of scripture once uh, that literally uh, a man of God was told to wipe off his face and to hold his head high. Look, you got to stop walking with your head down. You've been called to conquer. Uh, God blessed you with life. God chose you as part of his own private collection. 
Will you wilt or will you persevere? It is my prayer on today that you will persevere until you experience the life of a victor. You have not been called to be a victim. You may have been victimized, but you are not called to be a victor. If God looked and caught a glance of himself in the heavenly mirrors and he thought of you, then you have so much more in you that has not even been manifest. There's even a passage of scripture, thank you, Lord, uh, that said the earth moans and groans, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Uh, and, and that means you too, sister, uh, that, that the earth is sitting with bated breath. Creation is waiting with bated breath for you to step up to the plate, for, for you to make your mark, for you to make your impact. Uh, the, the sun, the wind, the moon, the stars, Everything is waiting with bated breath for you to show up and to walk into the thing that God has created you for. You've been called to conquer. Forget about what you're going through. Hey, forget about this. You, you've had insufficiency in your life. You had relationship drama. You have troubles in your family, troubles in your home, but you are still called to conquer. A conqueror comes to conquer, to vanquish. That means snuff the life out of adversity and of, and to be victorious. Winning is part of your own DNA. Stop succumbing to circumstances. God's not accepting excuses at the toll booth of heaven. Your admittance in is whether or not you've been faithful over a few. God's got so much. If you've been faithful over a few, God will cause you to be ruler over many. You've been called to conquer. Stop allowing defeat to be on the front page of your life, to be your outer dressing. Look, folks, you've been called to conquer. On today, never forget that a conqueror, you got a conqueror all in your DNA. That conqueror should be all on your front side. That conqueror is what you've been called to do. You are called to conquer. My morning meditation. God bless you.